Hey guys, cruising in Nairobi. Uh, I want to share with you that uh, I did uh, research on the market uh, what stocks to buy, and um, I uh, I actually most like the fund of Ark Invest, the Genomic Revolution Fund, uh, because um, it invests in company in companies like Illumina. Uh, that's their biggest position of 10 percent 12 percent um, and that's basically a company has been in existing 20 30 years and it's already valued at 45 billion that's pretty high I would say but they are truly revol re revolutionizing uh, medicine um, and uh, healing um, by um, well uh, tackling the DNA uh, uh, making um, uh, visible uh, the DNA uh, of a human being and also being able to edit it which is just rev revolutionary because most diseases are actually buried in your genes and like say cancer or I don't know uh, all these diseases most all people die from uh, uh, diabetes or, or, or um, uh, uh, like all these things are actually buried in your DNA and if you can edit the DNA then you can really solve these diseases, cure them, and not treat them, but actually solve them. So, and what they did was bring the cost down of 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 of, um, um, of um, visualizing the exact DNA information of a human human being. Uh, from the first one was 20 years ago, or so, and it cost a billion dollars. To today, it cost you only thousand dollars. That this company realized this. Illumina and um, and, uh, and and it really has the correct goal not to squeeze a market for as much profit as possible because uh, that will always lead you to uh, lose the market. No, they really want to lead the market by bringing down the costs by innovating uh, and, and making it cheaper and cheaper to bring down the cost to get your DNA information and now you can get it for thousand dollars. They don't do that uh, they don't face consumers directly they sell the machines to hospitals that do it and uh, for you um, and uh, yeah um, okay their revenues are only four or five billion and, and their valuation is ten times how higher 40 billion a bit the same like uh, Tesla uh, where their revenues are like 20 billion but the value of the company is like 100 250 billion um, or 100 billion um, so 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 why the PE ratio is uh, ridiculous. There are no uh, profits in this company, just like with Tesla. But um, but uh, uh, just like all these fast growers that we used to know from the tech industry at the time, like Facebook, Google, uh, Apple, or, or Apple not so much, but yeah. Also, uh, like yeah, uh, the first years it's about. Um, it's about innovation all the time actually uh, but uh, but it's especially in the beginning I think I have to go straight uh, uh, that um, that um, it's only later that the massive uh, massive uh, uh, massive uh, m cash flow comes huh? uh, it's in the beginning that um, that you need to invest and the returns will likely continue to be very high that's the beautiful thing about this Illumina is there is a strong track record now the value per share is $300 or so but it used to be $5 or $10 so over those 20 years they create lots of value for shareholders and, um, and likely they will continue to do so because this will be something that every every hospital will want in the future uh, to uh, offer their uh, patients to solve real uh, diseases huh? um, so uh, uh, and uh, yeah cool cool very cool huh? security everywhere here huh? in Kenya hi Oui. yes yeah you can check um, So, but but the, the problem, of course, is that I have no knowledge about this industry, the medical. I have no medical expertise whatsoever. So for me, it's most interesting to actually invest in a fund that does it for me, uh, because um, and, and and I do think that this fund, uh, led by um, Kathy Woods, uh, her Ark Invest company, 
this front has been doing well but I think has a good chance to do also very well in the future because this market is very broad unlike for example Tesla I didn't find it worthwhile to invest in this in those in the in her funds even though she was also very bullish on Tesla and in one of her funds she has that also has a big position but it was very probable that actually Tesla would outperform her fund because they always have to trim down a position uh, and keep it below 10% so that's what they did with Tesla also and due to that they've made much less profits with their fund but in the case of Illumina I don't think it will be as good a, a performer as Tesla no but the whole market will and, and, and there you have many like startup companies and uh, uh, in the medical sector there that, that have a good chance to actually greatly outperform Illumina and therefore uh, it's um, uh, it is probable that this fund will do very well compared to the market leader Illumina huh? yeah I'm sorry for the mask but I'm going to hospital now and I do wear it less and less the mask um, because I don't think it's necessary but when I go to the hospital, I still wear it. But, um, yeah, um, of course, the shitty thing about this uh, ETF is that they have to trim down positions that become bigger than 10%. So, that sucks. But maybe when I start investing in this fund, I will also start to learn more about the industry. And when there is a certain share that has been doing well, and but is being trimmed down in the fund, then maybe I can also invest in it outside of the front and that way um oh look at this little kitty my god oh it seems to be blind or no it can watch but it has his eyes damaged um so um i think actually it's likely the market will correct um we saw a very strong rebound and i do think the bottom is in that's most likely but I, it's, it's not probable that we will have a V recovery, that we will go up as fast. You hear that kitty cat? It's sad. Maybe later I can give it something. Um, so. Uh, let me see here. Go through the security here, everywhere security, use the security. Hi, you can check with your hands. You don't want... No, 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 you can check with your hands because I don't want to get cancer. Eh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and now they measure the temperature, they do that every... Uh, like, and that's the test to, to see if you have corona or not. Eh? <laughs> And do I have Corona, sir? No, I don't have Corona. Lucky me, eh? Lucky me, 